Now, when a Wiltshire chef, Diana Short, became pregnant with her first child, she decided to give up full-time work. But she didn't want to stop creating wonderful food. So she started making chocolate in her own kitchen. And now, as Rachel Royce reports in the latest of our Eat West series, her business called Lick the Spoon has won a gold award. <laughs> These are the award-winning One For Me, One For You chocolates and when they say homemade they really are because they're made here in the Shorts family kitchen where mum is the chef, dad helps with the business, baby looks on and well Harry here, Harry gets really stuck in, don't you Harry? What have you got there? Oh. Diana Short set up Lick the Spoon a year ago. She wanted a business that she could do from home. I've got two boys, I've got Harrison, he's um, just turned two and um, Thomas and he's eight months old and I was working as a chef previously and, and would have loved to carry on doing that but when I fell pregnant I, I decided that I wanted to do something from home, I wanted to do something that would allow me to spend my time with the boys. So um, that's, that's when the chocolate dream uh, became reality. Diana has created all the recipes herself. The best seller is chilli chocolate. But whatever the final product, the first job is to melt the chocolate before doing a process called tempering. If I was just to pour this into a mould now, you might see all sorts of strange things happening to it when I turned it out. You might get a white bloom on it, uh, it might not set properly, it might have little sort of crystally pieces in it. So what we need to do is we need to cool it down and keep it moving. And in order to do this, we put it onto um, a marble slab. Diana uses different types of chocolate depending on the recipe, but always uses the finest quality she can with a very high cocoa content. While this is cooling, the cocoa butter crystals are all floating around in various ways. And as they cool, if I keep it moving, they'll be evenly distributed. Lick the Spoon won several categories at the recent Taste of the West Awards, including a gold for the chocolate box selection. As far as possible, Diana sources the ingredients locally. Her cream comes from the farm shop at Allington and the blackberries they pick themselves. Here, Diana's making the shells of the chocolate. The first bit goes out like that, so we can recuperate it. But then the rest of it has to come out absolutely vertically. So that we get an even coat. It's a very labour-intensive business. Well, it's wonderful, but it's absolutely chaotic, it's got to be said. I mean, uh, we put the boys to bed about 8 o'clock at night and then the work starts, you know, especially at the moment. Since winning the award, we've uh, been inundated with orders from hamper people and uh, shops who want to stock. So it's absolutely fantastic. And the website, of course, there are lots of orders there. At the moment, the Shorts are happy to keep their business a small family affair. But in five years' time, they hope to have opened their own shop and expanded the business. Just so long as the whole family can live above the shop. Rachel Royce and Chippenham for the West tonight. Here they are. One for me and one for you, chocolates. Or 20 for me and 20 for you. What are you going to have? Uh, I've perused it. I want a champagne truffle, please, sir. Uh, which one's that? That one. I'll just keep keep Been trying them. Keep trying Thank them. Thank you very much. Absolutely lovely. Until you find one. Mm, thanks to Rachel for bringing those back.